Congress do? What can you as a lawmaker do to ensure that these children are reunited with their families? The administration says that's their yeah. ultimate goal. What action can you personally take, do you think? That's a good question. I really don't know. I mean, how am hmm. I or any member of Congress supposed to know what child uh, was bust or uh, put on an airplane to Michigan or New York and where are their parents in the system? That's the problem with the policy in the first place. And that's why I think that there's a lot of outrage on both sides of the aisle is because there's a certain element of helplessness here for us to be able to do that reunification. Yeah. Uh, so I don't have a good answer for your question, Holly. I wish I actually, I wish I did, because if I did have an answer, we would be able to propose that policy. Is that troubling to you? Very much, which yeah. is why this shouldn't have been done in the first right. place. We've been showing, we showed earlier in the show some pictures that the government has released of girls being held. One of the biggest questions has also been where are the girls and where are the youngest of these migrant kids, the toddlers? The administration has not allowed reporters into those facilities housing those girls and toddlers. Why is that? Do you think the administration is hiding something? I don't know if it's that. I, I, I don't. There has to be some reason uh, that hasn't been proffered yet as to why that is. Whether it's a good reason or not uh, is a separate question. But I, I've seen, you know, the question: Where are the girls? Where are the babies? I just, I just don't have an answer to that. We do not have the kinds of answers here that we are all entitled to as Americans and as member of Congress, members of Congress, particularly yeah. when the administration has said that this is Congress's problem. So if it's our problem, we should have answers to these questions. A couple more quick ones for you as we talk about. What's going to happen here where you're standing over on the hill, which is the House voting on some of these immigration bills, the Goodlap bill, and then the more considered the so called compromise bill later on in the day. You were not very confident within the last 24 hours that this immigration bill, the moderate one, was going to pass. Did the president's tweet change your mind or no? Are you still, no, uh, are you still just, pretty pessimistic? <laughs> no, the, the tweet yeah. undermined, I think, any ability to get those sitting on the fence or a little uneasy about voting for the compromise bill, number one. And the Freedom Caucus nickel and dimed uh, during negotiation and treated every single change or every single nickel that they needed to change for as though it was worth a million dollars. And then you see uh, the chairman of the Freedom Caucus on the, on the House floor being outraged. I think the speaker candidly comported himself with the great degree of measure there. Uh, and so I think that this is going to blow up. I think the bill is going to go down and we may very well start with a new discharge petition mm. uh, with a bill that we think that will run right down the middle of the playing field, which is what we tried to do all along. Uh, but we're just going to do it again. And we're not going to pretend that somehow the Freedom Caucus is able to negotiate with us. Thank you for checking out our YouTube channel. Why don't you subscribe? It's really easy. Just click on that button down there. And for more news from MSNBC, click on any of these videos here for the latest interviews and highlights. You can get more videos from MSNBC with our newsletters. Head over to msnbc.com newsletters to sign up.